Contestant number five said Harshan and Dan. The words of Eagle. The words of Eagle said Harshan and Dan. Have you ever experienced pure joy, a moment of pure happiness which you hope will last forever? One of my earliest moments of pure joy was in the year 2001 when I was able to obtain a copy of Diablo 2, a computer game for 50 cents on the black market. <laughs> I couldn't wait to go home I spent a few hours every night vanquishing the evil demons from hell. No, my grandfather said, kids should not play computer games. Back in those days, we used to go outside and play on the street. Now go outside and play. It was so unfair. Back in those days, my grandfather didn't have a computer. Why else would he go outside to play? <laughs> because of that, I have to suffer? This was just the beginning. The respected contest chair, fellow Toastmasters and guests. As you can see, my grandfather was an old-fashioned man. Even in the 21st century, he washed his clothes the old-fashioned way, using brutal high-velocity impact against a rock. One day I asked him, isn't it easier to use the washing machine? <laughs> Machines don't wash clothes, people wash clothes. This was how things were done back in those days when the world was a better place, he said. But how? I asked. Back in those days, you had World War II. People would die of a common cold. You had no electricity, automobiles, computers, or the washing machine. He looked me in the eye and said, Listen, back in those days, kids did not question the elders. <laughs> <laughs> now go away. <laughs> Frustrated, I went to my mother for advice. Mom, is it true that back in those days, the world was a better place? Of course it was, she said. Then I asked, so did you guys do something really stupid? Because the world is so messed up now. <laughs> <laughs> she looked me in the eye and said, stop bothering me and go away. <laughs> I grew up hating those words back in those days. The words of evil, I called them. I was sick of listening to people complain that back in those days, food was tastier, water was cleaner, the air was less polluted, the grass was greener, and the government was equally stupid. Well, some things don't change, <laughs> but everything else was better. Why? I don't know. Go away! <laughs> I came to the logical conclusion, people are idiots. I just have to tolerate them. After many years of tolerating idiots, one day I came home after an exceptionally long research meeting. I just wanted to sit back, relax, and listen to some good music. I put on MTV. There was no music on MTV. <laughs> Instead, they had this unbelievably horrible reality show called Teen Mom about kids who made bad choices in high school. It was so bad that watching it, I could literally feel my IQ dropping 50 points. <laughs> what has this world come to? A teenager gets drunk, he gets punished. A teenager gets pregnant, she gets to star in her own reality show and make more money than I do. Back in those days, MTV actually played good music <laughs> and the world was a better place. <laughs> hmm. I had just used the words of evil 
the same four words which had frustrated me all these years. Is it possible that due to the influence of people around me, I too have become an idiot? <laughs> or is the world actually getting worse and there's nothing I can do about it? I was so confused. I was 23 years old and having a midlife crisis. I did what people with problems generally do. I posted them on Facebook. <laughs> people said, if you don't like MTV, just change the channel and stop spamming my wall. <laughs> I tried to change the channel, but it was so hard. Deep down, a little voice kept saying, back in those days, you always watched MTV. That's when it dawned on me. Back in those days, the world wasn't necessarily a better place, but my life was definitely better. School was easier. I had no responsibilities. My needs were simple and my parents took care of everything. What I really want is for those carefree days to return. But life moves on. I have to move on. And moving on doesn't mean forgetting the past, but learning from it. The world doesn't get better or worse. It just changes. It is better to adapt to the change. Complaining doesn't help anyone. Chained by the past, fearful of the future, I was unable to enjoy the present. Have you ever felt this way? If so, it's time to move on. I vow, from now on, I will not allow the words of evil to control my life. I will not use tradition as an excuse to keep myself or other people from trying something new. I will never ever, ever watch MTV again. <laughs> and just like that, the world became a better place. Ladies and gentlemen, life is an experiment where we turn past experiences into wisdom for the future. The words of evil are a hurdle they need to be crossed. It's not easy, but remember, a wise man once said, if at first you don't succeed, just have some Jack Daniels <laughs> and try again.